Leanne O'Neill was in her early 20s when her life changed in an instant. I was just driving to work and going around a slight bend and um, the, road, the car sort of skidded in the gravel and the car flipped. But a team at CQ University is trialling a new technique to help people with paraplegia. I think something like this is, it's a gift and even if it meant being out of pocket, I don't know, even if it was $50,000, geez, you know, you'd want it just to, to give you that hope, you know. That's why, how you see that curve of the muscle developing that. Part of my PhD thesis was to uh, apply a novel type of electrical stimulation to improve muscle mass, reduce spasticity and improve also physical health in people with spinal cord injuries, just like, like Leanne. So basically what, uh, how the brain works, we have electrical signals coming from the brain, go through the spine and then activates the muscle. When you have a spinal cord injury, that connection between the brain and the muscle is kind of, you kind of cut that connection. So those cables are not longer functioning. So what electrical stimulation does is, has that um, external input. So the same way that this, the signals will come from the brain will come from the external device and will apply that electrical, um, electrical uh, stimulus to the muscle and will get the muscle to contract and activate. Something like this, like you know that it's not going to be a quick fix or anything, but you know it's not only that you can't walk, it's your self-esteem, your self-confidence, it's all it's all so sh shot when something like this stuff happens to you. People living with spinal cord injury, clearly they've got that all those other functional issues, sitting in a, in a wheelchair for a very long time or even, you know, every day for long periods of time means that some of those functions, like incontinence, which is a big issue to manage, and particularly for young people, you know, that are making that massive adjustment to living with that disability, to have a stimulation technique like the East End therapy that Vanessa and her team's working on at the CQU, that those sorts of things can be really life-changing. I think it's going to be essential for, um, especially if people with physical disabilities living in regional remote areas, to have access to anything that could really improve the physical outcomes and the quality of life. At the moment, there's very little um, resources that someone like Leanne can have access to. It, it's human nature just to want to to want to look okay, you know. And so if you had a little bit of calf muscle, just anything, you know, I would I would have put on a pair of shorts in my twenties and in, instead of just being stinking hot all summer long, you know. Young people with disabilities, they would be so excited about something like this. They really would. Um, any improvement to this condition is it's such a win. It's you know, it's a celebration, so it, you probably never really accept it. You just you learn to live with it, and you can have a great life. You know, you can have a really great life. I mean, look what technology is like now.